Okay. So, I will call to order the uh, select board meeting for six o'clock agenda. Uh, we're a little tardy and uh, apologize for that. So, uh, so is there any additions to the posted agenda? There's a deletion, Mr. Chairman. Yes. The uh, it, EDC candidate, EDC candidate, candidate not coming will not be here. Not, not be here. Yes. Yeah. So that's the interview. Uh, and moving right along, then the uh, we're now into a uh, public hearing for the amendment to section 103, uh, definition and 809 site plan review for the town zoning regulations. Uh, and uh, who is going to speak to that? I will do that. Oh, thank you. Um, so this is, an, a, this is a change to the town zoning amendments and it came about because in July 2018 um, Act 143 allowed through the state of Vermont accessory on-farm businesses. It also allows municipalities to review them under site plan review. We currently have a site plan review section of our zoning town zoning regulations. So these paragraphs that were, and I won't read them, um, that are <laughs> listed will be added to that section, that section 809 in the town zoning regulations. At the same time, we're also adding a definition for what an accessory on-farm business is, and that also um, is tied back to a Vermont state statute. So. How many properties in Woodstock will this actually affect? Well, Do you have a we don't really know because agricultural uses are an allowed use in the state of Vermont. So this, this clarifies that an accessory use to a, a farm business is allowed. It could be anybody, basically. Any farm? It's a brand new law, so right, just know, last yeah. year they so, passed to allow the uh, ag uses, ag events, if you will. And we have four that are coming online that we know of, and there's probably more in the future as people take advantage of uh, a brand new law. So that's why and the state does recommend that we do this to make I, sure. I was at the meeting when they made that recommendation. Yeah. So and, and there are they did a great little handout question and answer about Act 143. So if anybody needs a copy, we can get you a copy that explains the law, explains how as a municipality we're we are allowed to do this um, because we already have our site plan regulations. So it will be it will be reviewed um, just like any other business would be. Um, but we can the town cannot deny an accessory on farm business. Cannot deny it, but there are um, the site plan other restrictions they regulate can make not restrictions, right. but um, like and parking and those. Yes. Parking is the main yeah. element we would look at. The landscaping of that, the lighting also would be an element. Noise could be an element. Well, I was going to ask if it would come under the um, statutory um, when noise has to end in the evening and how early in well, the morning things We don't have a noise ending in the evening. We just have a 70 decibel limit. On oh, the okay. Level, so. But we All would right. review it in the context of the neighborhood. So those kind of things would be looked at. But it's mainly uh, parking is a key you, you Go ahead, uh, Jill, go ahead. Um, do, you, do you envisage that this would have changed any of the nature of events held over the past few years? Uh, they would have had a review process, and I think they would have understood better the implications of our local zoning more than they did. So I think it would have been a benefit to the town to have had this in place a few years ago, but uh, we didn't have the ability until last year to do this. So we move forward. Thank you. Okay. Finish. <coughs> Public comments. Any comments? Yes. Yeah. Any comments at all? Any questions? Okay. So where do we go from here? Um, so it is your recommendation, Michael, that we um, pass this exactly. So Are you amendment? amendment. So an amendment. Um, 
Oh, the, yes. I'd, I'd like to ask another question. Yes. Did all the planning and zoning commission agree on this? Um, I believe so. I can't remember the exact. I think it was word. unanimous because yeah. Sam made the motion. Okay. Sort of like we we adopt this, or are they kind of free to do what they <coughs> please if we don't? Well, it's put the this only in place control we have review. over these situations, and parking, to be honest, is one of the biggest issues with these situations, especially on back roads and rural areas. So we want to make sure. So it does give us a a local review of this. It's the only thing we can do because the use is guaranteed by the state. And that's, right. Yeah, that's why yeah. I'm wondering what. Mm -hmm. What we have. Yep. Wendy has a question. Oh, go ahead, Wendy. Wendy Norman. Just for the benefit of not being informed, those who aren't informed like me, what's an example of one of these activities that's up and coming that will bet that will go through this the zoning? Well, there is a, a, a barn on uh, the Prosper Road, Pumphrey Road, Stage Road, if you will, uh, and they want to do. Um, agricultural events where they're going to serve food, but it's going to be for corporate entities are going to come to this particular barn and it's probably going to have up to 50 people, maybe 100 would attend there. And um, all the food would have to be produced on site for uh, the meal, if you will. And so he's waiting to get up to speed with his animals and, and crop production. So uh, he hasn't presented anything to us yet, but we would review the parking on that situation and the lighting as it Im Im impacts that valley and the, you know, it allows the neighbors to have some input on, on what is going on. Whereas if we don't have this in place, there would be no input from, uh, for the neighbors. So accessory on-farm businesses um, are, include educational, mm -hmm. recreational, and social events that feature agricultural practices and are qualifying agricultural practices. So um, as well as storage, preparation, and sales of qualifying products. So the, the, the state ag department fairly well defines what an accessory use is. So people can, you know, if they fall into those categories, they can, they can be doing that type of business in addition to their regular agricultural practices. Any more comments? Questions, comments? <clears throat> I move we approve the amendment to the zoning regulations at this, as presented. Um, that the motion has been made and seconded that we approve the regulations, the zoning amendment, amendment uh, as presented. And this is according to the, the allowance of state statute, right? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Do I hear a second? Second. Motion's been made and seconded to approve it. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Jill says aye. Uh, any? Yes. Anything else? Yes. Ayes have it. Okay. Passed. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> All right, the next item on the agenda is citizens' comments. Yes. I'm Susie Stalls from Central Street, and um, I wrote to Butch about this a while ago, <clears throat> but I was unable to admit, uh, I was sick, so I couldn't attend the meetings. Um, we're having a problem with invasive insects. Uh, stink bugs are now in Woodstock, and um, I've seen several of them in my house, and um, other people have said they've seen them around, and they have the potential to get really bad really quickly. You know, people who have areas that have stink bug populations, you know, as the weather turns, they flood into people's houses. They get like up to 4,000 uh, stink bugs at a time, <clears throat> and so we really need to address that. There are some traps that um, are available, but they only work during certain months of the year, like in March or April. So if we wanted to address the stink bug population, we'd have to do it quickly. Another invasive species are the oriental beetle, which I saw a ton of all over Woodstock last year. I put up some traps there, like $10. I put one in Tribal Park, and I put one in my house, and I put one on, by the bank. 
and they work really well all year round, so that would be a good thing to do. But we really need to, you know, begin to think about addressing these. Tell me about those traps again. So the, um, they're pheromone based. So um, during mating season for the stink bugs, they attract them, they get caught in there. They, it releases a pheromone that attracts them and then they go in there and then they die. Um, same thing happens with the oriental bugs. The oriental beetles, they're these brown and white things that eat plants and destroy crops. Um, those traps also are pheromone based. I got them on uh, Amazon and they work all year round. So if they're, the bugs are active, that will kill them. So are you suggesting that, uh, that, that, that we buy some traps or the town and the village buy some traps and distribute them around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, especially the, uh, the stink bug ones because you don't really want them getting into stores and destroying inventory and destroying people's homes because they have a stink, right? They just, they have no natural predators that you can just, you know, there are stories about, you know, homes where people accidentally left a window open and there's 4,000 bugs in their bedroom. And you can't really squish them because that's where they get their name stink bug and they will destroy stuff if they release their stink. So we really want to get on top of this. I'm not confident with um, the name of those traps that you mentioned. So if you could um, email them, we yeah. would be able to consider it, but... Um, do you still have this, them email? Because I did send it back to, to... I was sick too, and I... Uh, and, uh, I did, and I got it from the um, yeah. Vermont Wildlife, you know, the Agriculture Department. They were the ones who talked about the... Um, Maybe Beth knows she's got her name. Beth. I, I don't <laughs> know, but I'm glad that Susie brought it up because the Welcome Center was inundated with them this fall, and, like, Last Friday, there was one inside, you know, and it was zero degrees out. So I'm they, glad that you brought that up. They're here. They're, you know, they weren't in Vermont for a while, but they have moved up, and now they're here. I have done the research, and I will dig up the email, and I was Thank forwarded you. back. Thank you. Can you put I, it on the list, sir, um, also? So people could buy them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We could encourage people to buy them. Yeah. Um, okay. <coughs> I have family in Maryland um, who live with this, and it is, they are very invasive, and they do take over the house. And my understanding is uh, that they like to live in the, in the walls, in the, under the clapboards, and they get tucked in in a structure, and then when it gets warm enough, the right combination of warmth, they come into your house. So they're, they, it's not like they're flying around waiting for a window to pop in. They're already finding nooks and crannies where they hibernate or whatever they do. I'm not, an, I don't have, I've just witnessed them in your, in a, a lot of them in a house. It's quite amazing. So it is, a, it's too, it's too Amazing bad. in a bad way. No, it's too bad they made it to <laughs> All right, we uh, thank you for that. I'm sorry I didn't follow up with it, but uh, thanks for coming tonight and presenting it. And yeah, I think we something we need to uh, be considerate of. Thank you. Any further citizens' comments? Hi there. My name's Graham Hankey, and I'm with the Faulkner Park Working Group, and we would just like to take maybe five minutes and give you an update on our activities. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass out a document. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Uh, so thank you for uh, giving. Do you have an extra? She needs it for the record. Thank, thank you, you for giving us an opportunity to uh, address the board. Um, so for those who aren't aware, um, there was a proposal back in October of 2019 to uh, essentially convey <coughs> Faulkner Park out of the trust uh, to the town and execute the the legal arrangements to make that happen, the financial 
arrangements to make that happen. We um, we felt, um, and I'm, as I said, I'm a member of a community group that's formed to investigate um, what's happening to Faulkner Park and the the ins and outs of this proposal or other proposals, uh, depending on on what everyone decides to do. Um, so we uh, have been uh, going ahead and uh, doing our own research and um, <clears throat> basically following up uh, this research with engagements uh, in the town. We had the opportunity to go um, last week and address the village trustees. And uh, we felt that was a productive meeting. We brought them up to date on our activities and um, they seem to be quite interested in exploring this further. And ultimately, uh, our point, and uh, I think our objective now, is to follow up on this board's suggestion and uh, encourage the board to follow through to generate a uh, citizens committee that would explore this issue in detail and um, slow the process down a little bit, make sure we do our due diligence, and uh, basically answer all the questions that need to be answered, look at all the data that needs to be examined, and come back to the board and the town with a recommendation on how to go forward. Um, so the document that we've prepared for you tonight um, reiterates our interest in the citizen committee and uh, we make some recommendations on potential membership of this committee. And then we also lay out suggested tasks that the committee could pursue. And one of the things we see is, the, the benefit of this is that uh, there is a proposal on the table that doesn't necessarily need to be um, the only proposal. And uh, so we're hoping the committee can take a look at this issue more broadly, examine uh, potential uh, solutions, and come back to the board with uh, the best possible outcome and the best possible recommendation. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, our update. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, so at the one of the last meetings, I uh, said that I was going to appoint the Citizens Committee to look into this. And I haven't done that because I have not been able to find people who were interested or willing to serve other than those people that were opposed to it. Mm. And it's been difficult to find anybody who really cared. And um, that's why there hasn't been a citizens committee. There's been su some suggestions on citizens committee, people from both your group and from uh, some members of the board, but those those people have not shown any interest. So um, I I find myself kind of floating out there to try to come up with a citizens committee that's going to you know, be uh, looking at this from all angles. Sure. Um, and also the other suggestion that's been made uh, is that we do put this on a slow pace for now um, and wait until our new town manager is on board and uh, let him uh, see what's going on and maybe help with the process. Uh, I'd be glad to expedite it if you could give me a list of people that would uh, have a different opinion than what you people have. It would make it a lot easier. Absolutely. We, uh, we've made some recommendations on the, in the document that, yeah. and uh, so that there may be some food for yeah. thought there. But I agree with you. I think this needs to be um, it certainly needs to be run by somebody who doesn't have a dog in the fight. Right, and um, uh, by, by saying that, uh, I see that you say elected officials. 
kind of well, we, we are urging the board to be careful about conflict of interest and ensuring that the board, when all this is said and done, can vote on this without any need for recusal. Yeah. I would, um, is this the first distribution of this document? Then, um, based on what you just said, Butch, I would like to read that one part of it so that Jill hears right. what this says. To avoid any appearance, you. you're welcome. To avoid any appearance of or any actual conflict of interest, we request that no elected town or village official or town employee be appointed to the citizens committee. Interested parties could, however, be invited to submit reference materials to this committee. Um, and then they have listed a suggestion, a list of um, suggested tasks. And um, it is unusual, I believe, that we don't have at least representation from the boards or have someone from the board attend your meetings. So um, that's something that we would have to consider. Sure. And um, yes, the trustees last week did agree that they should be involved with it. So, um, and I like Bush's suggestion as well. And in that consideration, I'd like to make a motion to table this until um, a future meeting, which will be, uh, could be as late as summer, because our new town manager will not be arriving till the end of March to work. So, um, give him some time to get his feet on the ground, study the issues. <coughs> That would be my motion. I'd consider that motion, the motion on the floor. Do I have a second? A second. Motion's made and uh, seconded. And now uh, there's one ahead of you, Jill. Uh, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy, do you? For, for Jill, I'll ask, I'll, Jill should talk first. Jill please. should talk first, a member of the board. Jill, oh, I was ahead. just going to be the seconder. Oh, it's uh, Ray seconded it. Ray seconded it. You can third yeah. it if you'd like. Okay. okay, Wendy. Um, for the benefit of the group who's not looking at the letter, and for the benefit of Jill, perhaps read Mary the list of suggested members, the one through ten, oh. above the please yeah. note. All right. This All is right. the suggested profile of the group. Right. We suggest that a committee including representatives of each of the following groups would be a workable size and would provide a balanced and desirable range of perspectives. One, village residents, Faulkner Park neighborhood and frequent users of Faulkner Park. Two, town residents, frequent users of Woodstock parks and trails. Three, the Faulkner Park Working Group. Four, Billings Park Commission. <coughs> Five, Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Park. Six, chairperson with neutral interest. In addition, engage representatives from the following groups as needed. Seven, the town and village investment advisory groups. Eight, the Homestead Incorporated Board of Directors. Nine, Woodstock Associates Incorporated Board of Directors. Ten, Woodstock Recreation Center Board of Trustees. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Okay, so I think we've, this is a very good and I appreciate it. And uh, so I have a motion on the floor. Uh, but before, before you kick it into the oh, yeah. summer. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Doug Raymond, real quick. Before, uh, before we kick this topic into the summer, um, what is the level of discussion between the current trustee, J.P. Morgan Chase, and the town? As far as I know, there's been no further discussion since they were here to our meeting. Is that right? Have you had any? I haven't heard. No, we yeah. haven't heard a word. And I just want to make sure, you know, I went through a very similar thing. The trustee is a financial services company, and they have absolute. They have a. They're very disinterested. Disinterested in owning any real property. I mean, it's this whole thing is for the benefit of J.P. Morgan Chase, not necessarily for the benefit of Woodstock and anything. So. <laughs> Shocking, you should say that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and you. I'm, well, okay. um, I, I may or may not have used the word there. Okay. Uh, I have, actually, I, actually, I have a motion on the floor. Is there any further discussion? 
All those in favor of the motion on the floor to table this until the future? And uh, did you set a time limit? Or I did not set a time limit. If this is not an indefinite tabling. It's to give our new manager time to um, absorb. Absorb what's happening All right. in more places than this, but maybe this will be one of the projects. Maybe they can find some people that don't want this, some, some you know, get some volunteers for the community. <laughs> Any names that you can names. come up with this on, would we, be helpful. We can probably help All right. With this. Thank All you. in favor of the motion Thank signify you. by saying aye. 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 Jill aye. says aye. John says aye. You know, um, with these requirements about no elected town or village officials, and then you go back here and look at where they want people from. <laughs> this might be a challenge. Yeah, that's what I found, <laughs> trying to get people that were interested. Uh, all in favor say aye. Oh, we did. Aye. Did you? Uh, yeah, Motion we did. Carry. <laughs> all right. Okay, moving right along. Any other citizens' comments to be brought before this meeting? All right. Any old business? It appears there is no old business on the agenda. New business. Two Rivers Adequichi Planning Commission. Hey. Thanks. Here you are. Uh, Tori Littlefield. What's that? Tori Littlefield. Yeah. My name. Um, so I think Frank has the forms. Frank has the forms. Who's distributed? Yeah. Distributed. Um, so this is. There's two forms that you guys need to sign um, for the community development block grant um, that we received um, with you guys. Um, so this is just completing the award condition before we can get a fully executed grant agreement with the state of Vermont. Um, so it's the PM4 <coughs> form, which is just designated, designating the True Rivers Adipichi Regional Commission as the grant administrator. Um, so that's taking all the responsibility away from you guys. And then there's the MP1 form, which is just verifying that you have codes and ethics. And now, this is related to the housing study that yes. you presented to us several months ago. Yeah. And it has finally come to the agreement yes. stage. It takes a while. Okay, so that's Do you recall what, that, right. Jill? All right. Yes, I do. I move we designate two, river, two Rivers Adequity Regional Commission as our representatives and um, designate it as the public agency for this grant to act on our behalf. And also, that. motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion on the board? <coughs> All those in favor <coughs> signify by saying aye. 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 Ayes have it. Secondly, I um, make a motion that we approve the municipal policies and codes in sign form MP1 for the Vermont State Government EEL Planning Grant. Right. For 2017? Yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. That motion's been made. Do I hear a second? Second. Seconded. I seconded it. Ray seconded. Thank you. You can third that one again. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Ayes have it. Is that one the year they broke the yeah. grant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'll pass it. We'll thank get you. these signed and get them to you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for waiting, Tori. All right, so uh, the next on the agenda is the re review and approval the engineer's service agreement with Hoyle Tanner for the South Woodstock Water Treatment Plant. Frank? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I need authority from you to execute an agreement for engineering services for <laughs> South Woodstock. It's a standard The American Council of Engineering Companies is American Society of Civil Engineers, the National Society of Professional Engineers. Um, 
it's just a, an agreement for services and a companion piece. I need authority to sign a DEC, Department of Environmental Conservation, certification page. Um, I have, uh, the engineering contract is a massive document. I didn't burn trees for that, but I have uh, copies of the DEC uh, certification form. Call for you. It's a. Uh, it's our ability to access the. Uh, the uh, clean water funds to pay for the engineering. All right. The cover page is pretty detailed. <coughs> Preliminary engineering report. The various other things they're going to do for seventy-nine thousand dollars. And we. You would be the designated. Yes. Um, would be the can, can I ask a question? Sure, again. Should, should the bond should, should the bond vote not pass? Then how would we pay for this? <coughs> um, we have five years to figure that out. Okay. And did we sign something within the last couple months that says if the bond vote doesn't pass, we would figure that out? No. I don't think no, so. we what we signed uh, <coughs> what we signed at last month's meeting was a um, a document that allows us to go back and pick up uh, expenses that we've spent over the last ninety days. Oh, and put them into and the put them into the bond. That's right. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I propose a motion to designate municipal manager Frank Heal to. Um, a review and approve the engineering service agreement with Hoyle Tanner for um, engineering services and as well to execute the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation certification. I'm not going to repeat all that. <laughs> Second. Motion has been made and seconded by John. All those in favor. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 So the um, permits on the Green Mountain Power permit for the Perfect. pole replacement up on Grassy Lane, I'm going to uh, suggest that we table that until weather permits. Uh, the board to do a site visit uh, and make sure that it complies with the uh, town plan. I'll second the motion. So, motion has been made and seconded. I made the motion, seconded by John, to table it until uh, time makes it. for further for a site visit. Any further discussion on that? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Ayes have it. Aye. All right, parade permit is the next thing, and that is a parade permit for Covered Bridges, Covered Bridges Marathon. Yep, thank you, Mary. <coughs> so, this is that a, every year. This is they a have that every event. year. I make a motion we approve it. We have the insurance certificate, there appears to be no changes. Mm -hmm. um, just remember, everyone, you can't get from Pomfret to Woodstock and right. less than two hours on uh, Sunday, June 7th. I've never heard, I have never heard any complaints. I'll remember that. There's never complaints. I have never heard any complaints. <coughs> uh, motion's been made and Second. seconded. Any further discussion about the Covered Bridge Half Marathon? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Eyes, aye. eyes have it. Brings a lot of people to Woodstock yes. that weekend. All right. So now we have some <coughs> liquor, licenses. liquor licenses, Woodstock hospitality. All of these have been paid. And so, one thing I'd like to suggest uh, I think I brought this up <coughs> at a previous meeting a while ago that the approval of these liquor licenses. For public buildings, I suggest that I had suggested and I strongly suggested again 
that these buildings be inspected by the, uh, by the fire department uh, before these liquor licenses are granted. I don't know that <clears throat> we can do that without some further action, but I do think it's a good idea that uh, any code violations, especially for overcrowding or exiting, uh, should be addressed in these uh, establishments. <clears throat> Have you looked into that, David, or um, Butch's uh, previous suggestion? I have. And um, I am meeting with the director of public safety tomorrow to get our agreement or find where it stands. And once that is signed, I will have the authority to inspect those uh, and follow through with any enforcement or recommendation um, that's needed. So, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were directing that question. I don't know that I was, oh. but <laughs> I, I just, uh, uh, you know, are there any of these uh, uh, that you would have any concerns about? Uh, All right, we didn't say who they are yet. I thought he knew. He just said he knew. Well, but that's I don't okay. recognize all the... No, because they are under... Uh, yeah, different names. Woodstock yeah. Hospitality is 506 on the river. Right. And Keegan Valley Inn speaks for itself. So, well, Shire, uh, Shire, 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 uh, what's, what's this? Shire, the, uh, what's that beverage? Huh? What's that beverage? What's that beverage? Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about the places where they have uh, restaurants oh, a and lot bars, of restaurants and those restaurants places, and, yeah. and bar seating. Well, we have none of those no, tonight. No, none of them are here. No, no. not, to, not yeah. this evening. Okay. I just think it's something we should look into. A couple of these are outside consumption for liquor licenses. Yeah. That is okay, we can approve these in a block. Motion to approve as submitted. Second. Motion has been approved, uh, made and seconded that we approve these uh, as submitted. Uh, any further discussion? Beth, I just have a question of NMB. Bella. Nicole Softly and Burbank good. LLC, that's her name. Softly good. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No. no. All those in favor of the motion? Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Ayes appear to have it. <clears throat> okay. Now we we'll move on to the Board of Sewer Commissions. Frank? Uh, we have an application for a sewer connection. The, uh, the applicant is uh, Hoags on Shortloaf Lane. It's for a 240 gallon per day, two bedroom house. It's been approved by the uh, Aqueduct Company. It appears to have a wastewater permit from the state. We recommend that you approve it. Um, is the 240, is it this a two bedroom? Or? It's two bedroom. It says house. two person household, but we, this is based on bedrooms, right? Yeah. The sewer permit. Right, right. There's a, uh, <coughs> a drawing attached. It doesn't say. There's a paper over there. I didn't see it. It, it is. I didn't see it either. It's on the back side of the paper. The aqueduct company called it a two bedroom residence. Well, two bedroom is the minimum. And 240 is the right calculation for that. It is. And I move to approve. Motion's been made to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve that. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it. Okay. Okay, the next is the request adjustment for the sewer bill. Uh, the first one is the Malik's. Apparently there is a 
billing error, which should result in a correction of $161. <coughs> to return uh, to them. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. We owe those. We owe them $161. Well, they they and if it still doesn't do parts and they owe me, it's now right. a single family. Yeah. Do you know them? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is, yeah. Can you pay it soon? <laughs> <laughs> I move to approve the request <coughs> for Naomi Malik for a sewer bill for 5 Stanton Street, um, formerly billed as a duplex. It's now only a single family resident residence. With a refund of one hundred sixty-one twenty-three. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. I'll second it. Okay, you can third it again. Ray's beating you tonight on those seconds. <laughs> Any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 I, I think there's a sound delay, so if she That's doesn't get is. the chance she to get in there right She's quickly. Only 60 I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop speaking earlier. All right. It's only 60 miles away. Okay, the other one is the Woodstock Resort Corporation. This is a more sizable. Uh, this one's huge. It's very gigantic. Huge. Uh, apparently, the. The cubic feet um, it's for those chillers. Uh, one is for the chillers, and other the other is for the unit itself. <laughs> uh, but for some reason, we build them both at the chiller um, rate. So the reduction is uh, significant. This is for the athletic club and being the same as the cooling tower. Right. In reviewing and talking with Mr. Olson, as well as reviewing the I found that the cubic feet should be quite significantly less. What I don't know is why we build for 664, uh, yeah. 353 cubic feet in the first place, but um, the amended meter reading, uh, since they sent us a picture of it. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. Roger. Right. Um, it comes from the aqueduct. Three and the, uh, six, 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 and six, for four. some reason, we. Get some more information if you want. I think so. Is I think so. I, mean, I would you like to. Meters, right? My thought is, how does this compare with the last few yeah. years? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a. That's a lot of money. I think we need a lot more information. Yeah. A lot of bucks. Yeah. And we might have to go to the aircraft. My, my question was: Is this um, 
if it's a straightforward mistake that hasn't carried forward into any budgets or anything like that, or oh, do we have to take different action going forward because of this? Hopefully. Well, if the if the meter readings are correct, um, we obviously had a billing uh, issue, um, and we would need to absorb that forty-three thousand dollars in this year's sewer budget. Um, we'll get more information for your next meeting. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. And so the next one is 128 Shirtliff Lane uh, for a refund of $482.66. And that obviously was a change of use. Change of use, yeah. Do we have a normal practice on this? Um, well, the challenge, Jill, is the. Uh, challenge is that we're using numbers that are actually almost a year old from the aqueduct company. Yes. And um, in this particular case, I think Jill, or, uh, Beth got the, uh, the letter and simply moved on it. I mean, their, their aqueduct bill is within the minimum. It's $60. Right. When, within the minimum, how they got overbilled is uh, it's what they used the the year previously. It did go through the water meter and through the system, mm -hmm. and this has been the practice of how the billing has always been done. Um, it suggests that the next person who buys the property will have a very, very low bill. Yeah, well, they well, have been well. living there. That's correct. Well, the, min the minimum is 60, so it's based on that, but uh, for $60, which is... That was... But that was in 11-16? Is that what that say? No. No. Well, I don't know what that number is. I don't means. know what that refers to. I don't. No. <coughs> it was for the year 19, isn't it? Yes, yes it see, is. our tax, our, month, so. our billing <coughs> period is this year. We're <coughs> billing for the 19 to 20. <coughs> but the the usage from the prior year while he was in that house, <coughs> that is what it used. That's the amount mm -hmm. of water that they used the last year they were there. But because it says 719 to 630, 20, he is um, contending that mm -hmm. they're not there this year, so they shouldn't be paying that amount. Mm -hmm. If you're not there, Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're not in the house, you're still going to pay your water meter. No, you're going to pay the minimum. You're going to pay the minimum. And the, and the sewer is going to be billed off from that, whether you live there or whether you don't. That's right. And, uh, and they are a family. And if you use more, you pay more. But no matter, you can, go, you can close up your house and go away for six months, but you're still going to pay the minimum. So you still have to pay the, nine, the yeah. 966. And, and, mm -hmm. and just because he moved away uh, doesn't okay. mean that he's exempt yeah. from the minimum payment of 60 bucks. Okay. So I'd say we, we there's, no, there's no argument here that, that but it is, well, it's not 60 bucks, is it? Isn't it 975? Well, so I'm just throwing that nine out there. It's the, you know, it's the cubic, yes. But it's $966. Yeah. But I'm, uh, I, 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 it's a lot. Yeah, I don't think we have any action here. I think that. I make a motion we deny this request. Unless we get further Unless information. Unless we have some other information. I, that went through our system. Motion has been made that we deny the request unless we have further information. All those in favor signify I, by saying aye. Wait a second. Aye. We haven't even had it. Did we have a second yet? I have a question. Yes, Joe. Yeah, yes. Has is is anyone seconded it yet? 
Yes. Who did? Okay. You did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, we oh, haven't just seconded yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'll second it just to have a discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I understand the principle of following the system to uh, make the charge, but it doesn't feel quite right. And I'd perhaps like us to look at our system. You mean the, the billing process? The billing? Yes. Okay. I have, I have always recognized the confusion of the homeowner when they are not there getting billed for an amount that went through a year previously. And we processed that amount of water while they were there, because they said that they moved out in July of 2019. Oh, no, they moved out in August. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, they I, were simply billed the minimum yeah. uh, plus 100 gallons. Um, their bill should have been 966 instead of 975.66. Yeah, but we do. Um, so there's actually a nine dollar difference. Well, it's not much. No, I don't see that. But if if the house is if so next year, yes. When the, let's say it takes twelve months to sell the house and the house is empty. What will the bill be for that year? It will be what, ten thousand gallon, uh, ten thousand cubic feet. It'll it'll be. You don't get away with scot free. You still have to pay the minimum for the water, and then the water which, reflects the which sewer. Which is nine sixty six. Yes. Yes. Right. But, no, that's for but, the sewer. No, that's for the sewer. But the, so the sewer is our minimum charge. For sewer is nine sixty six. Yes. Yes. For a family. Yeah. For a family. However, if. If they have a water meter, is do we know is this a, a red a meter red yeah, or yeah, is it yeah, a yeah, it's red. Red. oh okay yeah, it's so a meter red. okay yeah so unless we can get the meter I, says. I I understand your confusion but I think in for this it's, particular case I, I don't have okay we should I just actually don't have any confusion. I don't have any confusion at all. I okay. understand our system. All right. I just don't think our system is great in well, this situation. I, I may agree with you. There. I agree but, with you. So what we would say to this is we deny it unless we get further information. That's the motion on the floor. And I will second but with it. A, with a really good lack of explanation. And I'll second it. Any further discussion? You ready for the vote? Yes. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Ayes have it. I abstain. Okay. You have. What's going to happen in the future is, and it has already happened, is the aqueduct's going to go up on their minimums. And the, the That's ball right. begins to roll. That's right. <clears throat> okay. okay. All right. So, here where, we go. Where are we? we are, where's my agenda? Right here. We are at the Board of Sewer Commissioners. We're at the manager's report. We're that at the part. manager's report. And I will be brief. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill Kerman and I have been in, uh, in uh, reasonably uh, constant conversation, um, assuming bunch of things come together and the weather's not uh, bad, he will try to be here. Um, well, first of all, he's going to be here the weekend at town meeting through the uh, reorg meeting on uh, the 4th. Uh, I suspect his wife is going to be parked next to Butch's for immediate departure after the reorg meeting. You're, you're still leaving right after? I sure um, am. The, uh, his current schedule, um, everything comes together. Um, he will be here on Monday the 23rd as opposed to uh, the 25th. That does depend on weather and a couple of other things coming together. Just so you're aware, my transition with Bill will end no later than the 30th. 
uh, as I'm traveling beginning on the 31st. I'll be available after April 8th for incidental consults as needed. Uh, David has been kept in the loop as we have discussed. Wow, there's nobody here. Yeah. As, as, uh, David has been kept in the loop on most issues, so I have great confidence that the transition will be seamless. Uh, we expect the annual books, I think he told me uh, this afternoon, tomorrow. Um, yep, 10 days before. So uh, I think you'll be excited to see those. Very excited. As I indicated earlier, for the benefit of the sewer commissioners, understanding you're the same as the, uh, you are the sewer commissioners. Uh, the wastewater treatment facility engineer is, is on board and working. Um, we have a woman that's the principal engineer in this job. Um, and as is the case with most engineers in Vermont, I've worked with her before and have found her to be very confident, uh, competent. Uh, I look forward to that. Um, and for the record, um, this will be my last select board meeting with you all because the next board meeting is scheduled for April. Um, it's been a pleasure working for you and uh, we'll continue on until the, the bitter end. All right, thank you for that. You will um, be here for town meeting. We'll be there. Oh, yeah, I'd probably be here for town yeah, meeting. Yeah, he's going to. Yeah. for the world. <laughs> they tell me it's a great lunch. Yeah, it is a good lunch. Um, the financial reports you have in your packets. Um, I do not. Um, I'm not aware of any anomalies that are troublesome to me. Uh, capital reserve on the bottom of the front page is taking a fair hit. It's uh, the insurance uh, has not come in on Lincoln Bridge from, from passive okay. uh, yet. Um, How much is the insurance value, Frank? I'm sorry, Joe. How much is the How much insurance? is the insurance request? It covers all but about. Uh, somewhere in the $50,000 range. We did forty dollars or $50,000 of extra work on that bridge while we had it closed. The, um, the roof floor abutment uh, and some of the underpinning there was in, in really sorry shape. So while we had the bridge closed, uh, we did work that needed to be done. <clears throat> but I think the insurance covers everything except about fifty. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have any other questions? I didn't bring the detail sheet just in case. Um, I did, but I think I, I, I figured it out. I'm good. Yeah. If not, uh, you wanted to discuss town meeting assignments. Right. Yes. Um, working uh, diligently, Jill has prepared some talking points for each of the uh, major uh, items outside of the budget itself. Um, we would suggest, we being staff, that we use these talking points uh, and kind of change the paradigm a little bit for this year's presentation. Um, have somebody leading off talking about I'm just going to pass these down so you can look at Jill, these are the, uh, the things that you prepared so you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, we suggest that somebody uh, kind of lead off, and we'll flesh this out a little more, and talk about the town budget, um, and essentially the, the issues as to, as to why it's up. Um, and there are some details on the on the next page. Uh, then somebody representing the sewer department um, could talk about the sewer budget. Um, again, that's reasonably straightforward. Um, as I said earlier in the meeting tonight, the, the 106 increase in fees. Uh, about half of that is eaten up with the uh, 
the money that we put in the budget that could be used for preliminary, uh, yeah, preliminary engineering or at least an analysis of the uh, main waste on the treatment plant to give you some idea of what that's going to cost. And then I have included, we included uh, some uh, reserve money for uh, compensated absences um, to deal with that. The uh, improving the Woodstock roads, uh, we're not quite finished on that, but somebody could take that detail. Um, the discussion of the regional energy coordinator. Um, and the, uh, if somebody wants to take the uh, the uh, full-time emergency medical service, uh, emergency medical services, ambulance services piece. Um, I guess anything that, uh, any questions that get profound, uh, you can punt them over to me. Um, There is the issue of Vail Field uh, tennis and basketball court. Some years ago, there was a study done that talked about a couple hundred thousand dollars to redo the tennis courts and basketball uh, courts. Um, and we're getting very close to uh, having that money put aside. Okay, so. Um Speak your piece for whichever topic you would like to present. Um, the first one is the... Jill? Jill? Yes? Since you wrote yes. most of these, which is your preference to present at town meeting? Uh, I'd like to be the Shared Regional Energy Coordinator, and that's okay. Article 11, and I'd like to do Article 10 in the road. All right, Article 11, and um, Article 10, oh, I see right here, I'm sorry. Yep. Yes, okay. Um, all right. I will do the... Um, the ambulance and the um, uh, creating of the uh, or the fire department along with David. Okay. So, Jill, on the roads, um, does that include the sidewalks and the curbs and or just? Well, we put the sidewalks in with we put the sidewalks in with the town budget. So really, that's part of that one. So part of the it could it could be part of the same conversation. It would, I guess we could do it either way. Okay. But it's uh, the money is put in the town budget right now. Okay. <clears throat> and I believe that Frank did such a good job with South Woodstock tonight that Frank, he should do South Frank Woodstock. Is, Frank is doing the sewer. Okay. <clears throat> Unless that, he, you good with that, Jill? Unless you want to brief yeah. Ray and Ray can do it. No, I'll, I'll do Vail Field. You'll do Vail Field? Okay. Okay. All right. And so now Ray. I would suggest uh, that. Uh, oh. I would suggest we, Mary we, do we, the town budget. Mm -hmm. Article 5. Uh, Mary. Would John prefer to do the road? Shall I go away? Shall I take my name off that one? You do the energy coordinator uh, one. Yeah, and, and then maybe John would. Well, if John, John likes to do the road. John would do the highway budget, but I think the uh, the the village part of it, the curbs and sidewalks, that <clears throat> should probably be separate. And while Jill and Ray did most of yeah. that. Yeah. Jill doesn't want to do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Well, you want to do that, Ray? Oh, yes, will. I don't want it, but I will. Ray will do that. <laughs> he said he would. John, what's your preference? 
Oh, the town highway. Okay. Let's let John do his thing with the town highway. Yeah, I think I can do this town yeah. budget thing. Oh, I think you did it very well. I didn't really did quite. I'll put some stuff together for you, John. John, um, Ray said he'll put some stuff together for you. It's quite. Oh, okay. This is. All right. This is excellent. This is an easy thing to do. Yeah. I, I would like to try to change the way we've done it for years of getting out the, going through the budgets, line item by line yeah. item, and saying, well, this, this, this sign is up a little more. We need to buy more signs. And, you know, it's kind of boring. No, People I, got the budget book in front of them. I like they got any questions. Uh, we're going to hit the highlights. The, Highlights here, and uh, the uh, if people got questions uh, about anything, they can always ask. Okay. This is and, and I just want to emphasize that we try to really talk about how much this would impact people um, per hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollars of their home, yeah. so that we could actually have numbers that mean something. Right. Yeah, you know, you can tell somebody is going to be so much on a hundred thousand dollar house or two hundred thousand dollar house, and then that bill arrives in August, and it's <laughs> what? Okay, that's. I think that's a good, uh, a good program. Now the other thing uh, at town meeting, uh, we will give. Uh, uh, Ray and I, I mean, uh, Bill, an opportunity to speak, of course. There'll be a, a part there. The other thing that I'd like to, to do is the, um, the town report is dedicated to Phil. And I would like to ask the audience if they would, uh, I would like to say that we would like to dedicate this meeting to Phil as well and ask people just to take a moment in remembrance of, of Phil. Uh, I think it's only appropriate this final, this is the final chapter. Phil, Phil is, we can't continue to dwell on the issue, but I think it's only appropriate for this year that we, that we do this. I agree. And uh, if anybody doesn't have any objections, I'll do that. And um, so, and then on the fourth, we'll have our organizational meeting. And uh, next meeting will be in April, which I will be tardy from. Anything else no. that I forgot? I don't believe so. Oh, wow. Well, I'm doing so well. I do have one okay. question. Next year is your last year um, at this term of the current my, my term. My term is up next year. I don't okay. know if Jill's term is up next year. Uh, why do you ask? Uh, no, I just, <laughs> because I. Planning ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thinking for. Are going to run against me? No, I'm not going to run against you next year. No, this is. Uh, the, two years ago, I thought this would be my last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? You need to do minutes. 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 Oh. Yeah, we got to do the yes, minutes. Yeah, we got to do the minutes. We got to do the minutes. We had. And we, we got to do. Um. The warrants. The warrants, but then we can we can yeah, adjourn. We can almost go. Of, um. Any any minutes? Let's look at the minutes. On. Um, only because I know this is how I always say it. Mm -hmm. On the February seventh meeting, where. Um, at the beginning of the meeting when we were out here before we went into executive session it says on there that i said there would probably be no um i think it says their votes made and i usually say motions made or votes taken okay and that's that's my only change there Anything else for the meetings? Seventh, 
Seven, I, December. I gave some to Nikki earlier, but so are, are you reading changed ones now, or Nikki, or what? Or I did what? hand out the changed ones. Yes. She handed out the changed ones. Okay. Okay. I Motion to move those move, minutes? Yes, approve the minutes as, as um, revised and presented. Seconded. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion on the minutes? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, the ayes have it. I'm going to abstain just because I can't see them, so just go away. That's okay. perfectly fine. That's fine. She is abstained. So there is a meeting here on this Thursday. Thursday morning at 8.15. And that and is, you'll be calling in, Jill? I will. Um, okay. Then I make a motion we adjourn. Thank you. I this it. fun fest. Thank you. I the motion's it. been made and seconded to adjourn. No further discussion. I mean, any further discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Aye, aye, aye. aye. Jill, okay. can I... Um